Hola, it's Avi, aka Octavia Steen, natural fertility doula, health coach, and creator of the faith-based business Mother Mindset. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Fertile Faith Podcast, a podcast that help women of God who are trying to get pregnant naturally to overcome negative thoughts and balance her hormones so she no longer has to be overwhelmed and consumed by her TTC journey. I'm so glad that you're here, sis. I can't wait to dive into this episode. Hey, sis. Today's episode is brought to you by the Fertility Prayer Bundle, a powerful resource designed to support you on your trying to conceive journey. Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed and uncertain during this important time in your life? Well, the Fertility Prayer Bundle has got you covered. Let me tell you about what it includes. First up, we have the Fertility Prayer Checklist, a game changer in your prayer life. This checklist empowers you with four simple steps to pray with confidence and effectiveness. Say goodbye to feeling lost or overwhelmed with too much information. The four main steps for fertility prayer will take you by the hand and show you exactly what to do to create a prayer practice that is both impactful and meaningful. Plus, the beautiful branded pages provide a peaceful and inspiring reading experience that resonates with your heart. And there's more. Right. I'm also including the two week wait devotional. This Christian devotional is a beacon of faith during those nerve wracking two weeks while you're eagerly waiting to see if you're pregnant. With 23 pages of deep and meaningful content, it will keep you connected with the Lord right throughout this crucial period. Lastly, there's a TGC checklist to ensure you're taking all the necessary steps while on your journey. It's like having a trusted companion by your side guiding you every step of the way. So whether you're struggling with fertility challenges or simply want to enhance your prayer life during this special time, the Fertility Prayer Bundle is here to support you with compassion and understanding. Head over to mothermindset.com slash prayer today and get your hands on this incredible bundle that combines knowledge, faith, and closeness, closeness with the Lord into one free package. Did I say that it was free? free fertility prayer bundle. Remember, you don't have to walk this path alone. The fertility prayer bundle is here to empower and uplift you every step of the way. All right, so let's talk about Yoni Steeman. Yoni Steeman for fertility in particular and from a Christian's perspective. So what is vaginal slash Yoni steaming? Well, vaginal steaming is a multicultural ancient form of vaginal cleansing and healing with herb infused steam. In this practice, women sit or they squat over a seat with their bottom half exposed over a bowl, container, pot, whatever they call it, of heated herbs for a certain amount of time. Now, is it necessary? <laughs> well, Medically, there are no claims that vaginal steam is necessary. The, va the vagina is actually self-cleansing. It contains, you know, our vagina contains good bacteria that maintains the correct, you know, pH balance for our bodies and acidity necessary to keep harmful bacteria out except during ovulation when our cervical mucus becomes more alkaline, allowing sperm to pass through in that short window of ovulation. Um, you can learn more from a medically reviewed site um, that I'll link as well. But, you know, what about yoni, yoni steaming, this term yoni? Well, yoni steaming is a, just, it's another term for vaginal steaming that they've placed on, on vaginal steaming, I guess, to make it sound prettier, yoni, but it does have some origin behind it. The term yoni originates in Hinduism and it symbolizes the goddess of Shakti, Shakti, of feminine, feminine power, femin femininity, identity, power, the symbol used of a woman squatting um, over this throne, over this seat, they call it a throne, but over this seat, has also been said to represent the womb 
and fertility. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today in regards to my perspective on yoni steaming, on vaginal steaming, and what the Lord revealed to me in regards to this practice and women of God. I want to put that preference in there or that preface in there because, you know, as the Bible says, there's a scripture um, that says, you know, all things are lawful, right? Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 23, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, but not all things edify, right? And we, when we talk about, you know, this, my podcast is Fertile Faith. So I'm directly speaking to women of faith, women of God, um, who are Christians and living for the Lord. You know, when we, when we talk about that in this um, idea of, yoni steaming is it lawful like are you able to do it yes you have free will you have choices right that you are able to make um but does it edify does it edify god right what you're doing does it edify the lord and so i want to talk about that today um just really quickly um and the regards to three things that the lord um uh, just revealed to me in uh in this um, yoni steaming community that they have. There's a community out there that does this. Um, there are practitioners that practice yoni steaming and help other women do this as well. There's spas that provide it. Um, but the Lord showed me what, three things. One, discernment. Two, conviction. And three, research, right? Or studying, right? And so as far as discernment, like I said, you know, all things are lawful, but not all things edify. And when we think of discernment, we think of, you know, discerning of spirits, discerning um, whether something is good or something's bad. And so when a Christian has discernment, it is a, you know, it is what the Holy Spirit is calling out. Right? The Holy Spirit is calling you to look further on this. The Holy Spirit is calling you to uh, really think about what it is that is going on in this situation, to take a step back from your flesh and think about it in the spiritual. That's what discernment really is. That's what discernment is in the spiritual. What is this, you know, what is this <laughs> spiritually? And so the first time I came into um, no, you know, knowing about yoni steaming or vaginal steaming is actually through my certification as a fertility doula. I'm a certified fertility doula, certified coach um, to help women in their preconception process. Uh, but there are just some things that I don't include in my business that, you know, I was taught in my certification, you know, I was taught about Reiki, Reiki, I don't even know how to say it correctly, you know, the things that they talk, talk about chakras and energies and things like that, oh, the, the new age things. I was taught about that in that, um, in the certification. I was taught about vaginal steaming and yoni steaming in the certification, but remember, as Christians, we have a choice, right? We have a choice on who we're going to serve. And let me tell you, I'm going to serve God. And so I choose not to include that in what I do as a fertility doula. Um, and so I walk by the spirit and not by the flesh. And so in regards to that, we have to have discernment. So I first came across this um you only see me through my certification and while doing my certification i had to t i had to take a step like out of the class because of the the conviction which i'm going to talk about next that the holy spirit was feeding me that the holy spirit was revealing to me during that time as they were talking about these things in the class you know i had to take a step back and say wait a minute this does not sound right right this does not feel right in my spirit the holy spirit there are gifts of the spirit right that we as christians can um can really take advantage of in our walk with God. And in those gifts of the spirit, those gifts of the spirit are in first Corinthians, uh, the 12th chapter, it talks about the gifts of the spirit. And 
in one of those gifts is the discerning of spirits, right? There's also a gift of healing. And if you're if you're looking into vaginal steaming or yoni steaming for healing, just know that you have a healer and his name is God, right? Jesus, the Lord, our Savior is a healer. And so uh, getting back <laughs> to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit we have gifts of the spirit that we can use in our in our walk with God. And that just hold discerning of spirit, you know, discerning of the different spirits. I've been asking the Lord to really help me um, to help me to grow in my gifts, grow in the gifts that he desires me to grow in at specific times that he desires me to grow in them, right? There, you're not always going to use the gift of discerning of spirits. You're not always going to use the gift of healing, right? There are just certain, you know, there's certain moments, certain uh, situations where that will come. But in this matter, in this instance where I was in this class learning how to become um, a fertility coach, learning how to help women get pregnant, right? Learning about, you know, the ovulation, learning about our bodies and things like that. There, there was this spirit, <laughs> there was this spirit there that was not of God, right? In that class. And I had to take, take a step back because the, the Holy Spirit in me, was revealing a lot of things, right? And one of the one of the scriptures that comes to mind is Exodus 20 and 3 when it comes to yoni steaming. Um and I'm you know as far as yoni uh steaming being uh the word yoni being the goddess, right? Goddess of Shakti of feminine power identity, right? We have to know that our identity comes from Christ. Our power comes from the Lord. Our strength comes from the Lord. And we don't need to, you know, tap into those things in order to receive power, in order to receive identity in something else, right? You are not a goddess. You are a child of God, right? And so when I um, was, you know, studying this, and doing more research, that's the third thing, right? The studying, the research of these different topics as you feel discernment, as you feel convicted in your spirit, you know, um, Exodus 20 and three, which, you know, Exodus 20 and three says, you shall have no other gods before me, right? You shall have no other gods before me. And with that, that just speaks for itself. Yoni is a Hindu God. <laughs> and so if we are squatting over, and I'm not talking about the herbs in this episode, and I'm not talking about, you know, the herbs give healing and things like that. What I'm talking about is the word Yoni, We're talking about this practice of Yoni steaming. And if we are submitting ourselves over something else, right? Submitting ourselves over to a goddess of fertility, a goddess of feminine power, a goddess, you know, um, of in the Hindu practice, right? We're placing that God above our God, that God's, you know, way of healing above our God's way of healing, right? And so, you know, that's what the Lord was showing me. And in that, you know, after I first had that, that discernment, of that spirit and then felt convicted by the Holy Spirit, I had to go and do more research, right? I looked at the origin of yoni steaming. I looked at the er origin of the word yoni. Um, I looked at the practice, that what they call it, practice, right? Because they're practitioners in it. Um, and I just started to do my own research. And what I want to encourage you today is to do your own re research, right? I want you to seek God for yourself. Seek, you know, the Lord and what he's speaking to you over this situation, over yoni steaming, over vaginal steaming, over, you know, whatever it is in your fertility journey that just seems off, right? Whatever it is, you know, I was, I have, I got an email, um, recently from a another uh fertility specialist uh who specifically she has like a fertility coaching as well and i in her she had like a um 
a conference that she was doing, an online conference. And I was looking over on the sales page of her conference and her conference had a whole bunch of speakers, some that I knew, some that I didn't know, you know, just well-known like doctor, doctors in the fertility realm or, you know, other fertility coaches. And I was looking, there was one lady who talked about, uh, who was going to speak on, this was, was her topic, connecting with your spirit baby. Now that just does not seem right in my spirit, but you know, I'm gonna do some research because that does not sound right. The, the discernment, the Holy Spirit in me is like, the only spirit you need <laughs> is the Holy Spirit, right? We don't need the spirit of fear. We don't need the spirit of fertility. We don't need the spirit of lust. We don't need the spirit of uh, yoni. We don't need these different spirits. All we need is the Holy Spirit and the conviction of the Holy Spirit, right? from god that's the only spirit women of god need in order in order to heal in order to pray in order to do these things in the lord we don't need we, we don't need all this other stuff okay woman of god and i just want to encourage you on that today just to do your own research to study to show thyself approved right that's what the word says to study for yourself what it is that you are doing to your body um, what it is that you're putting in your body, right? Uh, when I was on my own fertility journey, I really had to seek the Lord on what he wanted me to do. And in me doing that and me seeking him, he, you know, started to just reveal things that I was putting in my body that did not, that weren't helping me, right? That weren't helping my, you know, my immune system, weren't helping my, my uh, gut, weren't helping just the things um, in order for my body to work properly, in order for my reproductive system to work properly. I wasn't feeding, I wasn't drinking enough water, you know, just the simple things. You know, it's simple. We just have to go to God and seek him for what he desires for us to do. The next steps that he desires us to do. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Yes, we don't know it all. We don't understand it all, but we have to trust and acknowledge that God does. We have to trust and acknowledge God and what he desires to do in our lives, the, the path that he desires us to take because he knows the plans, right? He knows the plans that he has for me. He knows the plans that he has for you, right? Before he formed you in the womb, before he formed you in the womb, he knew you, right? So, so I wanna encourage you with that today. Um, on today's podcast. And I just hope you were blessed by it. Um, leave a review, whether you are, you know, or, or tag me on Instagram at coach.avi. You can leave a review on Apple. Um, yeah, that's what I had to say today. And this is a podcast that I have been meaning to put out there. And I've been doing this podcast now bi-weekly. Um, you may hear you know, uh, C4, my son, who is now two months, a little over two months, um, chime in throughout this episode. But uh, I've been doing this podcast every two weeks now just because of mom, motherhood. Um, but I still want to get this content out here. I still desire to do what the Lord has called me to do in helping other women through motherhood get to motherhood and do it in a way that pleases him. Um, God bless you. Oh my goodness, sis. I pray that today's episode was helpful. I pray that it was helpful for you. If it was, please leave a review to help this podcast reach other TTC women of faith and tag me at coach.avi on Instagram so I can shout you out. I can't wait to help you balance your hormones and deepen your faith so that you can get pregnant without the overwhelm. Blessings and baby dust.